New details this morning we're following in the alleged terror plot at a Taylor Swift concert in Austria. Authorities say a suspect who pledged allegiance to ISIS has confessed to planning a suicide attack using knives and explosives. Maggie Rooley has the latest for us. And Maggie, a third teenager, has now been arrested too. Uh, yeah, what exactly? And Austrian authorities are now telling the AP that they're currently scrutinizing the networks of all three of these suspects, evaluating physical and electronic evidence. And guys, this investigation is happening with less than a week to go until Taylor Swift is set to take the stage right here at Wembley Stadium in London, performing to an estimated half a million people over five nights. And now there are growing concerns about how to keep all of these fans safe. This morning, a third arrest made in connection to the alleged terror plot against Taylor Swift's concerts in Vienna. Police say an 18-year-old Iraqi citizen was taken into custody after allegedly being in contact with the main suspect. Authorities releasing this photo of the 19-year-old Austrian suspect seen here with his face blurred, wearing an ISIS flag and holding machetes, saying he confessed to planning a suicide attack in the area outside the stadium using knives or explosive devices he made after becoming radicalized online. A suspected accomplice, a 17-year-old Austrian, was also arrested near the stadium where he had just taken a job. This is the worst nightmare for a venue and a, and a place that holds these type of events, that the, you have that insider threat, that person who has actually made it inside the venue as a trusted employee of the location. A 15-year-old Turkish citizen was also questioned. Organizers at the Vienna show standing by their decision to cancel the concerts, saying it's definitely the right one. Hundreds of fans instead gathering on Cornelia Street in Vienna, singing Taylor's hits and exchanging friendship bracelets. Even if they try to destroy our Taylor Swift spirit, they really can't. And yeah, it's it's nice that people do this to show that you cannot just walk all over us. While Taylor has not made any public statements, she told Elle magazine in 2019 that her biggest fear was that violence could take place at her concerts, saying after the Manchester Arena bombing and the Vegas concert shooting. I was completely terrified to go on tour because I didn't know how we were going to keep fans safe. It's a sorry reality of the world we live in where, you know, if you're a touring artist, you, you, you pray that something like this just never comes on your radar. Um, but, it, you know, it, we're very fortunate right now that nothing terrible happened in Vienna. Taylor's next stop, London, where officials vow the Eras tour will go on, telling Sky News they're confident in their security measures. We're going to carry on working closely with the police, ensuring that the tennis with concerts can take place in London safely. The city already on alert after riots broke out when three girls were killed at a Taylor Swift themed dance class a week and a half ago in Southport, England. They're going to be speaking to all the intelligence services from around the world. Intelligence and law enforcement services of the UK are going to be focused on is anyone trying to commit a terrorist act? I believe that that may be the safest place to go in the world. Fans like American Colleen Bolts from Wisconsin say they're determined to attend. I will put my trust in the authorities that if they feel that the show does need to be canceled, then I will trust that they made the right decision. But as of this point, I'm going. I'm going to wear my Swifty garb. I'm going to be screaming. I'm going to be trading friendship bracelets, all the stuff. It's a cool, it's a cool, it's cool. And guys, at this point, the mayor says the plan remains to carry on and to have these shows at Wembley go on as scheduled. Deborah? All right, Maggie, staying safe there. Thank you for that report.